I am going to explain about uh, NMOS inverter. Inverter function we know that and the symbol we know that. So this is the symbol for inverter. While giving 1, the inverter gives the 0 output and while giving 0, inverter gives the 1 output. So it gives the just inverting output that is the inverter function. So but this is only the symbol symbol for inverter but if you want to go to design a circuit internal circuit so minimum two transistors are required to design a inverter so this is an nmos inverter so i will explain both the transistors are nmos but one is enhancement mode transistor and nmos enhancement mode transistor and one more is NMOS depletion mode transistor but both are NMOS this is also NMOS transistor but a depletion mode transistor so uh, I will explain the operation how it will give the that is output I am giving for example this is NMOS enhancement mode transistor enhancement enhancement mode transistor this one so here it is source gate drain and here it is source gate drain so i am giving uh, that is binary input one here so then vgs is sufficient voltage between gate and source so is sufficient to go to the on condition because one volts here just assume it is binary input one so here in this case so vgs is greater than that is threshold voltage for the transistor t2 so means the t2 will goes to on condition just assume so i am assuming vgs is just one volt it is not one means that is binary input one or else you can assume like this 2.1 volt is greater than the threshold voltage for the transistor i am assuming 0.6 volts so the condition is satisfied to goes to on condition so here it is goes to on condition and here you can see the source and gates are interconnected it is nmos only both are nmos transistor but it is depletion mode transistor depletion mode so it is always on condition because source and gates are interconnected each other so means this is on and this is on now we can see this the vtd is flowing through this direction this direction and the totally it is vtd is grounded hence there is nothing else here across the output output is zero output is zero so while giving one the two transistors are on condition total vtd is grounded hence the output is one so i am going to i am give the input is binary zero here you can see this again what will happen you will see so zero means there is no sufficient voltage vgs to goes to transistor t2 on condition so assume that i am zero volts you are giving assumption but 0.6 is is the threshold voltage for the transistor so in this case you can see this so condition is not satisfied to go to the on condition hence the transistor t2 is off condition so anyhow it is always on condition because source and gates are interconnected here transistor t1 goes to on condition so means this transistor uh, will not work it is just like acted as open circuit then the vtd is flowing through this direction this direction and across the output the output is available vtd is available hence the output is binary one hence they are binary one so when you are giving one v in vn is one so both are on condition t1 is on and t2 is on and hence the output is zero because totally it is grounded when you are giving uh, that is uh, binary input zero t1 is that is transistor t1 is on always because source and gates are interconnected but t2 is off condition because of insufficient vds hence the vtd is flowing across the towards output side hence the output is binary one so like this the inverter is working so here and uh, we can 
draw the input output characteristics for n mos inverter you can see this when the input is that is vn is 0 output is high just assume it is 1 when the vn is 1 1 so output is 0 nothing else so at midpoint you will get uh, the same values 0 0.5 0 0.5 so these are the characteristics of n mos inverter so like this you can design n mos inverter thank you